Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Our next speaker is Imam Sheikh with Equifax. Please give him a warm welcome. Equinix. It's Equinix. <laughs> hey, uh, all right. Hey, uh, good afternoon and welcome, everyone. Uh, we're going to talk about how to automate and control your keys in a hybrid uh, cloud environment. So let's get started. Uh, your infrastructure is changing. So in the past, you had all of your apps and data in the data center, and you protected that with a VPN gateway, with firewalls, with identity and access management, and all these solutions, all these security solutions were hardware-based. So you could physically touch them and put them in a data center, and you could fortify them even further by physical security. You knew who was coming in, you knew who was accessing your data, and you could put policies in place in addition to risk mitigation or uh, um, other, other things that you, you want to put in place uh, within your data center to protect your apps and data. But recently, the trend is to move all of these applications to the cloud. And uh, there has been a massive adoption of cloud, which has led to these applications and data going into various clouds. So whether it be infrastructure as a service or SaaS, the data is moving there. And along with that uh, goes your personal information, your PCI data, your intellectual property, and other sensitive assets that are important to you. And what that is also causing is a lot of uh, uh, application sprawl because those applications that used to be in your enterprises no longer reside in your own data center. They are now in a public cloud or in a SaaS. Um, also with that, the, the, the problem is that since that infrastructure is not in your control, the challenge is that you don't know who's accessing it. It could be a, an employee of the service provider that uh, could be, is tasked with protecting your information, but you, you don't know who that person is. So uh, in addition to that, government compulsion is another thing that you have to worry about because your data might be subjected to a, an order which you're not aware of and it is being looked at by somebody else. So all those challenges happen once you start moving these data uh, and apps to the cloud. And how do we solve this problem or what can we do to solve this because this trend is here to stay? What you can do is you can have a security control point that is at the digital edge of your infrastructure. So you can put the boundary control in place there. You can uh, put visibility solutions or inspection solutions in there. You could have your key management solutions in there. So this rectangle on the right-hand side is what it would look like visually if you had to architect that solution. And with that, you can monitor all the data that's moving in and out of the cloud from one cloud to the other cloud and put policies in place to make sure that only right uh, individuals and processes and applications have access to the information. So I'm, I'm going to talk about key management specifically for this session. Uh, and if you have more questions on the other things we can do on the security control point, we can have a conversation later on. So uh, even though the cloud has um, been explosive in its growth and everyone is adopting it, one thing is static or constant is that encryption was and remains the preferred control to protect your sensitive data. So why do people choose encryption? It's because encryption brings you confidentiality. It means that nobody else is going to be looking at your data without your permission because they'll see garbage or ciphertext. Uh, it also allows you to control the data and by control, you, uh, you can think of it that you have the key that is required for you to decrypt the data. And because you control the key, uh, you control the data as well. The third thing is compliance. Uh, PCI, GDPR, all of these other uh, numerous, including HIPAA, numerous uh, compliance mandates require you to encrypt uh, information or encrypt data that belongs to your customers. And for that, encryption is a great control uh, as a proof to show to your auditors that you are protecting your customer's sensitive information. The last thing here is a trend that's uh, growing, and we believe that's the future trend for most of the service providers in the cloud. And that's BYOK, or bring your own key. So what they're doing is that they are actually building encryption natively uh, to the, uh, within their services. So whether it be like EBS volumes, S3, RDS, 
all of these other services within AWS, they have native encryption capability, and it integrates nicely with a separate key management system where you put the keys in. And they, they attach that to an external HSM or an external key manager where you can bring the master key from, and that trend is going on also. This is further proof that encryption is the way that uh, 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 encryption is a preferred control, and it's here to stay for encrypting your sensitive information. But now that we know that the data sprawl is happening, the applications are moving on uh, to the cloud, you have the ability to uh, protect the data via encryption, but what did you achieve, or what, what did that solve? It protected your information, but now the risk is transferred from the data to the keys. Right? So we have to now protect the keys, but this is a much smaller problem in scope than protecting the application and data sprawl. So key management remains a challenge. And the reason why it remains a challenge is because it's very difficult to manage. And if, if you lose your key, uh, you will lose your data as well, as we talked about earlier. In the past, you had two different ways that you could do key management. The first one is the legacy way, which is hardware devices that don't lend themselves very nicely to the cloud way of doing things. Uh, they are on-premises. Uh, they are um, expensive. They're not cloud native. They are cloud neutral. But the challenge is that they are um, going to cost you an enormous amount of resources because they're complex to deploy. Uh, not to mention that it's not very easy to automate them. They have traditional arcane ways of uh, providing APIs to access the, the keys and the data for encryption. The second set of solutions, which are new age evolving, is the key management service that's based in the cloud. So this could be any KMS solution from infrastructure as a service vendors or SaaS providers that have built-in capabilities uh, to provide key management and the encryption. These solutions are cloud native. They are uh, easy to deploy, easy to use. They are subscription-based versus having a CapEx model with the traditional or the legacy way of doing things. But the challenge here, or the, the biggest thing that we should keep in mind is that it requires you to keep the data and the keys together. And if I was building this from scratch and I was to architect this, I would not keep my data and the keys together. And that's what you need to look at when you're going to pick a cloud solution for your key management. Um, so as security practitioners or somebody who wants to build secure solutions, how can we get best of both worlds, which is basically security of the HSM or the traditional way of doing things where we had the control of the infrastructure and the keys, and the ability to uh, do it simply or uh, automate things or automate uh, the application access to these key managers to protect my information uh, you know, in a matter of seconds or minutes. And you know, we also have to remember that most of us are not security experts when we're you know, in, a, in a business. We are just a function that is supporting a larger organization that might be insurance, banking, and so on and so forth. So we have to find solutions that will be able to give us cloud-friendly APIs to automate, uh, security of the traditional HSMs, and be easy to deploy and be cl cloud neutral. And lastly, and most importantly, separate the data from the keys. Fortunately, Equinix decided to solve this problem for all of you. And we are introducing Equinix Smart Key. It's Intel-based SGX's first uh, HSM as a service that we're offering. Uh, we just went into beta a couple days ago. And this service is, uh, can do uh, key management, which is for your symmetric keys, asymmetric keys, or any of the other uh, passwords or secrets, like SSH keys, PGP keys that you want to store. We can store that. We can also do cryptographic operations, which are just traditional uh, bread and butter for an HSM uh, uh, appliance, which is basically you can send a, load, a payload of a, a credit card, a social number, and we will send you back an encrypted result or encrypted data back, or we can decrypt it as well. Now, the cool thing about this solution is that it's very easily integrated into the native cloud APIs. We support REST APIs, so you can imagine this being integrated nicely with AWS KMS, for instance or any of the other AWS uh, offerings where you've automated this using Python or any other scripts that you know, you're familiar with, including Node.js. Um, the other thing is that this is subscription-based and also takes care of replication and disaster recovery for you. So you don't have to muck around managing all these 
DIY uh, uh, hardware devices that are on premises that you have no idea uh, how to manage or ma uh, upgrade without the help from a vendor. In this service, we will do it all for you so you don't have to worry about that and focus on your prime business, which could be, again, as I mentioned, insurance or financial uh, services that you're providing to your customers. Uh, it is cloud ready. It is as a service. So literally in a matter of uh, a few seconds, you can go and launch a HSM in a cloud and start using this. And it is powered by Fortanix, who is our partner uh, that helped us bring this to the market. Uh, the one other thing that you want to think about from a control perspective um, when, you're, when you're looking at a key management service, when you put things in on-prem, you have to provide connectivity from your AWS infrastructure to those key managers in your environment. There are many ways to do that, and here I, I point out two ways how SmartKey can help you in that regard. So you don't have to run anything back to your infrastructure so you can be completely free from uh, uh, hardware if you wish to do so, or you can have a, a co-location footprint uh, where you move your, uh, uh, your own data center into that facility and, uh, again, consolidate your data centers or have no data center footprint yourself. So with SmartKey, you can access it either via internet, uh, so just the traditional way you can run it over SSL and be able to use that with any of the AWS KMS related services. Uh, you can do key management there. You can do cryptographic operations also. The second way, which is unique to this solution and with Equinix, is that you can have a private connection from that particular AWS uh, infrastructure or environment all the way to smart key. And you can do that by using our ECX or Equinix Cloud Exchange solution. That can give you a private line from your AWS infrastructure all the way to smart key, and it becomes an extension of your infrastructure. Right? So if you... If you now think back about the, the things that we talked about in the session, you're able to manage the sprawl. The data dispersion is no longer a problem because we are encrypting the data. You have control over the keys because nobody outside you is able to access those keys from smart key. Even Equinix cannot see those keys. So you're able to get the security of the traditional HSMs and are able to use the cloud native or the cloud friendly features that allow you to automate and use this solution in AWS and all the other SaaS providers that offer BYOK as a service or that support external encryption as an option. So with that, I'll uh, take any questions uh, that you might have. Or I'll give you back three minutes of your time. By the way, uh, we are at uh, booth number 2213, so please free feel free to come and visit us. We also, as I mentioned, we launched our public beta two days ago. Uh, it is free for you to sign up. Uh, you can check it out. It literally takes 30 seconds for you to sign up. So use it, give us feedback, and we're welcome to talk to you if you have any questions. Thank you.